I'm Quentin Newark and I'm a partner in Atelier Works, which is a graphic design company. I think like every graphic designer, I am, a, I am an iconoclast. Uh, I arrogantly imagine that uh, I can remake the world uh, better than it is currently. That's what happens whenever you come across a piece of uh, graphic design that you're asked to do. Very often you're looking at something else that somebody else has done uh, and you're being asked to redo it but more clearly or more succinctly or uh, in a more contemporary way. And um, that deeply appeals to me. Uh, that it deeply appeals to me to make things, and it deeply appeals to me to make things better. Sit down, because I'm going to do my James Bond villain thing here. Um, smart state, I want you to sit up. Uh, um, I became a graphic designer um, in order to have uh, Smut here uh, with me all day. What are you doing now? It's like it's trying to make me lactate or something. <laughs> I left college and got one or two jobs, awful jobs. Uh, then I was very lucky and I went to a, a big office called Pentagram. And I was even luckier because within Pentagram, I worked with a designer called Alan Fletcher, who is the kind of soul and consciousness of uh, British graphic design. So it was an enormous privilege to work with him. And um, after having worked with Alan, there really didn't seem any point in going to work with another lesser graphic designer. So I uh, set up initially on my own and then uh, very quickly afterwards joined with uh, two friends. So Atelier is the, th the three of us um, practicing together. Originally we called ourselves Atelier. Um, which means studio in French. Uh, could have called ourselves studio, I suppose, but uh, I am pretentious. Um, but then we discovered that there are dozens of other ateliers. Uh, they all tend to be called atelier something, atelier one, atelier two. So we decided to call ourselves Atelier Works. I suppose I really do two kinds of work. I either do work that is uh, extremely boiled down and concentrated and really as simple as I can make it or I do work that is big and complicated. They're the two kinds of work that I like doing and just to sort of show you some examples to illustrate that here are some uh, logos several by me several by my two partners and uh, they illustrate the idea of concentrating something down so this, for example, is a logo for a conference about culture that's called Eye to Eye. This is, I think, a good illustration of uh, the content of the project determining the form. Uh, this is one of a series of posters for the British Council about data. We wanted to find a way of um, epitomising, visualising data. So there's a face in varnish printed on the poster, just listening there. The caption at the top of the poster says, make data easy to find, which of course it isn't easy to find, it's, it's difficult to find, it's difficult to see. We don't have any preferences of a kind of a composition that we impose on the project. Everything that we do comes from the project, it's derived from the content itself. I suppose we find ourselves drawn to cultural clients, architects in particular. So, I mean, here's a little invitation to the opening of a new building by David Chipperfield. And I've designed the invitation to be the same format as the building. And there's a little uh, introduction of the building. Um, or this was a book that we designed for a filmmaker um, who found inspiration from the street. 
So he's taken lots and lots and lots of photographs of graffiti, torn posters, and then these have directly informed the way he makes his little introductory films. And of course, with paper, it's incompatible with film, except unless you do it as a, as a flip book. So I suppose we're always looking for projects that give us the opportunity to test ourselves in some way, to learn some new technique. I think the way of explaining what a good graphic designer is, is just to look at this poster. Uh, I think a good graphic designer is a mixture of uh, cerebralness and an ability to physically touch and make things and understand that graphic design is a combination of those two things. I think a graphic designer is somebody who's got lots of legs because you need stamina uh, to complete often lengthy and uh, complicated projects. And the poster itself is printed on uh, Bible paper. And I think there is that aspect to graphic design, which is about um, understanding laws and making sure you break them.